Hello everyone. Welcome back to Wizartist. In this video we will be learning class 7 geography chapter number 3, Our Changing Earth. And this video will focus on solving the exercises given in the textbook. In the previous two videos, we have discussed about endogenic and exogenic changes. And each of the examples were explained in detail. Be sure to check that video out to understand about the topic. In this video, we will be doing the exercises. And the first part is answer the following questions. Why do plates move? Lithospheric plates move around very slowly, just a few millimeters each year. This is because of the movement of molten magma inside the earth. The molten magma inside the earth moves in a circular manner and so does the planes. What are exogenic and endogenic forces? Exogenic forces are the forces which cause changes on the surface of earth. And endogenic forces are those forces which create changes in the interior of Earth which affects the surface as well. What is erosion? Erosion is the veering away of the landscape by different agents like water, wind and ice. How are floodplains formed? When a river overflows its banks, it results in flooding of the neighboring areas. As it floods, it deposits layer of fine soil and other material called as sediments along its banks. This leads to the formation of fertile floodplains. What are sand dunes? Sand dunes are low hill-like structures made up of sand. These are mostly found in deserts. How are beaches formed? When the eroded sediments of sea are deposited on the shore, beaches are formed. What are oxbow lakes? When a meander of river is cut off due to the continuous process of deposition, it forms an oxbow lake. Now, the second part, take the correct answer, which is not an erosional feature of sea waves. Cliff, beach, or sea cave. Sea cave and beach are both erosional features, so we can say cliff is the correct answer. Now, the next one. The depositional feature of glacier is floodplains, beach, or moraine. Floodplains are formed by rivers, beaches are formed by sea. Thus, we can say the answer is a moraine, which is caused by sudden movement of the earth, volcano folding or floodplains. Floodplains are caused due to the deposition. Folding is a process of making of mountains. When the erosion and the deposition occurs, folds are created during this process which forms a mountain. Such mountains are called as fo fold mountains. Thus the correct answer is a volcano. Mushroom rocks are found in deserts, river valleys or glaciers. The correct answer is a desert, as we have learnt in exogenic changes. Oxbow lakes are found in glaciers, river valleys or deserts. Oxbow lakes are found by rivers, thus they are found in river valleys. Now, here is the third part of the exercise. Ma match the following. So, this is the question. Glaciers are rivers of ice. Meanders are formed from rivers. Beaches are on seashores. Sand dunes are found in deserts. Waterfalls are made when river falls over a hard bedrock. And earthquakes are vibrations of earth. Now give reasons. Some rocks have shape of a mushroom. You can see this adjacent picture which shows a mushroom rock and it has the shape of a mushroom. The answer is when the wind erodes the base more than the top in some rocks. It leads to thinner base and thicker tops, which makes the rock look like a mushroom. Give reasons. Floodplains are very fertile. Floodplains are formed by the deposits of sediments from a flooded river. The sediments that a river carries is very fertile, fertile as it is porous and has more humus. So the sediments deposited to form the floodplains are very fertile. Give reasons. 
C caves are turned into stacks. When the C waves continuously hit, the C cliffs or rocks cracks turn into C caves. As this process continues, only the roof is left and soon the roof is also eroded away. This creates stacks. Buildings collapse due to earthquakes. The intense vibrations during earthquake vibrates the building. If these vibrations are very intense, the building vibrates and collapses. Observe the photographs given below. These are various features made by a river. Identify them and tell whether they are erosional, depositional or both. So this is the table given in the textbook. This is a waterfall caused by both because it erodes the above part and deposits it below. This is a meander which does erosion. These are floodplains which are made by deposition. Now solve the crossword puzzle with the help of given clues. These are the clues. With the help of these clues, the answer will be first one, tide. Second one, meander. Third one, river. Fourth one, ice. Then cliff, moraine, glacier, oxbow lakes, waterfall, Loess, Cave, Levy, Stacks, Sea, Desert, Delta, Sand Dunes, and Floodplains. So this was it with the exercises. Hope you understood each and every question and this video helped you. If it did, don't forget to give thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, if you have any doubts, any doubts at all, you can ask in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer your questions. And do not forget to click on that red subscribe button. Thank you. Bye-bye.